How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we began our adventures here in Victory Road, and in this episode, well, we're probably just going to continue them. I don't think we'll actually be done in this episode, but you know what? We gotta explore this here, this cave here, and oh, oh, looks like we already have a Max Repel. So, between the last episode and this one, I remembered that you're definitely going to need Rock Smash in here. If you want to find... Card Gauge has fainted. Mm, okay, I must have not healed the Pokemon up when uh, when I stopped at the Pokemon Center. That's fine. Oh, well, I don't know why. Uh, but I do have Whoops here. Whoops has returned instead of uh, Dax. Don't worry, man. I'm the savior, though, man. So, so I'll be able to talk to you from all over the place, bro. Don't even worry about me, man. Okay, we weren't. We weren't Dax, but good to know that you're going to be all over the place. Or whatever it is you said. Uh, if you go up here, you can actually find a nugget on this rock, so that's good. There's a lot of hidden items like nuggets and all that uh, hidden around Victory Road, so feel free to explore. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can find. Um, I don't really know if there's anything this way. I don't necessarily think there are. Let's get some ramps. Um, but yeah, you will need Rock Smash if you want to navigate all of this. Uh, there are a lot of hidden items in here that kind of require you to have Rock Smash. I think these are some uh, bike ramps over here. Yeah, um, I'm not, a, how do you, those look like the bike ramps, but I don't know, like, how we're supposed to really be able to go over this bike ramp, seeing as a, there's rock smash, or strength right here. Let's try it. Nope, is this, is this not a bike ramp? Maybe I'm just, no, it is. We just can't get over, we just can't get over that, because, I don't know, maybe we don't have enough speed. Anyway, uh, yeah, so Victory Road is not my strongest point in this game. It's a lot like how Seafoam Island is for me in, uh, uh, previous Pokemon games, it's, um, it's complex for me. I don't know. Seafoam Island's, like, my worst nightmare. I, I have the worst time with Seafoam Island. Um, we're actually probably gonna have to fight this kid, yeah. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. One look at you tells me you're a real contender. Alright. You're the pretender! What's this guy? I don't know why that reminded me of that song. Ah, uh, man. So, randomly, um, last night, I felt like I had a sore throat. Again, by the way, I was already sick like last month. I just like to point that out. So I randomly had like a sore throat yesterday and uh, woke up this morning feeling like absolute garbage. And I, I don't feel great right now. Um, but this is like one of the first things I've done today is record this, uh, record platinum. So, I mean, I feel okay right now, mainly because I'm not moving or anything. But god dang it, I was already sick last month. I don't need to be sick again. I'm not sure. What Maybe it's flu season or something. Maybe I need to get my flu shot. Rampardos over here. Uh, Mam you know, funny thing, Mamoswine was a Pokemon that it showed earlier. He was actually a contender to be on my team. I almost chose, uh, when I was setting up the team originally, um, I almost chose Mamoswine, but because we have two ground-type Pokemon on our team, being uh, Don Lino and Card Gage, I chose against it. But, uh, yeah, GB's level 47. No new moves or anything yet. And Mothim, alright. Uh, who should we... Let's have let's have good old Jigsaw go against Mothim. Jigsaw, you know what? I'm still really disturbed by that whole bit barrel thing. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just let me be. All right, but I mean, I still don't know how I can ignore that. That was that was pretty terrifying. I don't know what what you see in a bit barrel. Does that mean you see whoops as like something? No, not at all. It's not a bit barrel yet. I mean, shut up. Well, we learned something very scary about Jigsaw today. Yikes. Yikes City defeated Omar. You're as tough as you look. Well, thank you. I'm glad I look tough, or else that's some kind of insult because he's mad because he lost. I don't know what you're what you're trying to say there, Omar. But uh, yeah, let's do this. You don't you really don't want to move that rock on the right hand side. It looks like because it looks like it'll mess you up pretty badly. Yeah, so that's how we're gonna get through there. Rock appears to be breakable. Yes, thank you. Whoops, and your power of rock smash. Ah, uh, the greatest HM slave to have ever lived. What is that? There's some crazy sound going outside my building right now. I have what it takes to... Yeah, whatever. No, you don't. I have what it takes. No! I have what it takes. That's true, Card Gage. It is probably gonna... It's more you. I'm not going up against some, like, fist-fighting Flint and other members of the, of the Elite Four. That's not... That's not my thing. God dang it. It's times like this where I wish I wouldn't have uh, switched Dax out. But, um... He seems to be fine. And I like using Dax a lot. And I feel like he fits well with a lot of different fights. Unless, of course, you're going against the Psychic-type Pokemon. In which he gets the floor wiped with him. Um... It, uh, I feel like he was the best choice to put in the PC right now. Uh, Goodyear needs a lot of, uh... A lot of leveling experience. And I, uh... So, you know, if we find a good spot for Goodyear to fight... 
in here and god dang it, this freaking Clefable is like a tank. Putting up its reflex or barriers or whatever and Oh come on! Gravity. What you uh, what you doing? Gravity intensified. Are you are you using something that already exists on planet Earth or Sinnoh or wherever we are, planet Pokemon? Let's finish this thing off with waterfall. Goodbye, Clefable! You stupid tank. Jimmy's getting a lot of experience. Level 47. About to send in Torterra! Hey, how about that? That's what that's what we have. We've got ourselves a Torterra. Um could use Goodyear and fly against it. You know what? Why not? Let's give it a shot. I know it's a ground type Pokemon, but we'll see what we can appeal to that grass type side of him. Oh! I get to go against Card Gauge! No! That's not me! Look how ugly he is! Oh, can't use fly because of gravity. Wow. I completely overlooked that. Uh. Phew. Alright, well. That puts us in a pickle. You know what? I, if Jigsaw faints because of this, it's gonna be it's gonna be Torterra versus Torterra. That's gonna be how it is. Yeah, and then you'll see that I'm the more attractive Torterra. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, at least we know that Card Gauge is really slow. Uh, Torterra is really slow because we've been fallen uh, victim to that many times. So let's go ahead and use Flamethrower and see what we can do there. And oh. Almost, almost, Jigsaw, almost. Ah, oh, god dang it. He almost did it. All right, all right, everybody out of the way. I'm going to go take on this imposter. Sure, I might be a level lower or whatever, but shut up. All right, here comes Card Gauge, about to rock climb his way to to defeating the other Card Gauge. So let's, let's see what happens. Well, he did it. Good job, Card Gauge. Yeah, see, I'm the more attractive one. That Torterra is ugly as sin. All right, well, that wasn't very nice of you. That battle just now must make you tougher than everyone in the world? Is that what she said? I, like, looked away at my timer and then came and looked back. Um, that was weird. All right, well, Jigsaw fainted, so that's not good. We're running out of revives, folks. You guys better stop fainting all the time. Not okay with that. We need to we need to put uh, Don Lino up in front. We really, I really want Don Lino to evolve soon. The, especially for the Elite Four. I mean, he will, definitely, before the Elite Four. But, um, hmm... Looks like we can only move this one, so let's do that. And hello, hello, fellow. Let me see how well your Pokemon can battle. Yeah, well, yeah, whatever, whatever. We'll we'll fight this guy. I mean, maybe maybe after this guy, we'll avoid some encounters for a while. A veteran Clayton. Oh, it's 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 Clayton, the guy from uh, the guy from Tarzan. That's him. That's Clayton right there. All right, it cuts Don Lino's attack. Wonderful, because that's exactly what I need to use as my attack. Yeah, god dang this stupid bird, I don't understand what his problem is trying to cut my attack. I'm just gonna have to scratch the crap out of his- No god, brave bird! Yep, not good. Let's see how much that actually does. It's gonna be hit with recoil and- Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I think I'm dead now. Goodbye. Jeez. Jeez, man. Alright, we'll send out Goodyear. God dang, that was nuts. Freaking brave bird took us right out. Growl? Growl? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Growl. You go ahead and use brave bird, and then the next turn, you're like, no, I'll use growl. Really? I'm emb I'm embarrassed to have even had to fight that store after. That was dumb. Well, at least good you grew to 42. Bring Don Lino. Took the hit. Licky licky. Ah, dang it. Times like this, as I said, when I wish we had Dax. Well, let's just send out Card Gauge. We go Earthquake them, Card Gauge. Use the power of the tree on your back and Earthquake the crap out of the Staraptor. Not Staraptor, Licky Licky. We already defeated the Staraptor. Oh, gross. I don't know why they made an evolution to Lickitung. I think it was fine as it is. Licky Licky's just weird. I mean, Lickitung's kind of silly looking, and Licky Licky's just... I don't even know. That, it, it, it's, it's, it's just weird. Whoa, dang. Also a freaking tank over here. Alright then, time to put the smack down on this stupid balloon with a tongue. What is this, a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade blimp? You know, he kind of does look like that card gauge. I would I would be absolutely blown away if uh, if Licky Licky became a blimp. Just like, because it's such like a random Pokemon, so it'd be like, And here comes the Licky Licky blimp, coming down uh, whatever street. I don't remember what it is, 50 second. All the streets in friggin' New York City are numbered. I don't- it's hard to keep track. I don't know. 
You know, that would probably be, I actually make it easier to keep track. But, uh, I don't know. Brilliant! Thanks, old timer. Uh, well, Don Lino. Don Lino has passed. Time to revive him. What the crap? I didn't pass. I got killed by a brave bird. You know what? I would consider it honorable to be killed by a brave bird. Uh, I don't know. That was kind of embarrassing to watch. Are, are you... You gotta be kidding me, right? That was hard to do, man. Alright, I'm not actually sure... Uh, this looks like this is the right way, and if it's not, we have an easy way back. But this looks like the way we're supposed to go. This looks like... That would've sucked if I would've jumped down that ledge right there. That would've ruined everything. Hello, sir. Oh, Repel's effect wore off. You know, I, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna end up in encountering a uh, wild Pokemon right in front of this guy, so we're just gonna do it now. Hello, sir! How are you? My Pokemon knows karate. I'm warning you, it's a tough one. Alright, well... Let's see if you're, uh, if he lives up to that standard. He's telling us his Pokemon are tough. Oh, it's only one. Miles sending out Machamp. All right. Well, go ahead and go ahead and do it, Don Lino. Uh, that thing totally has like multiple arms. I don't know if I can just go ahead and do it. He's got like arms coming out of the back of his head. He does. That's actually kind of weird. It looks like he has. A yeah, that's weird. Is like his two arm is like arm three and four that aren't on his hips. Look like they're coming out like like his neck. Ew, that's we that's weird. Ew, it looks like it looks like there's like a really skinny guy behind him, who has just like beefed up arms, like just like screwing with him. Because now that I'm like I'm like holding my finger up to like the screen and like covering up covering up the arms. Oh my god, you do that, do that real quick. Go like go up to like the YouTube screen with your thumb and like put your thumb in front of one of like his back arms. And it looks just absolutely ridiculous. Because, like, Machamp, like, there's two figures. Machamp looks like... Machamp with only two arms just looks like a silly Machoke. Oh my god, that's funny. Why does this Why does this sprite look like that? That's weird. I don't know. Alright, well, let's take this Machamp out. Since all he did was use scary face on us. Yeah, real impressive, black belt guy. Miles, if that is your real name. I met my match in strength. Alright, if you say so. Um, let's, you can see a lot of items are scattered about here. I think we're actually going the right way, so that's good. I know when you get to, when you have to start surfing, that's an indicator that, uh, that we've, we're doing something right. Um, okay, so that must be only up there, so we can, uh, get that item and then hop back down and get back on track. So, let's come up here and face this guy that we have to face. So I don't like a camper sitting over here, he's like, you, he's gotta, he's gotta get me. I'm a psychic, I can see your past. Didn't somebody say that to us like a couple episodes ago? He said he could see our past or something like that? Psychic like Valencia. That's a name. Or her? Is that a girl? I don't know. Sending out Chimeco. Chimeco is the evolved form of Chingling. I remember when I first saw Chingling, I was like, Whoa, it's so rare! And I thought it was like the coolest Pokemon for no reason. I don't even like Chingling, really. Or Chimeco, for that matter. But I, I don't know. I thought it was cool looking, I guess. I'm not sure why. Well, let's take this thing out to the ball game. Not really, though. Um, and Don Lino is going to get a good amount of experience. Sending out Absol next. Ooh. I do love me some Absol. Look, it's Alfredo, but the girl version. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, I miss Mystery Dungeon so much. And I'm, I'm happy to see uh, that you guys are okay with me uh, wanting to start up the next one. Because I'm sure you guys all want that to happen, too. I'm really excited for the new stories and the new characters and all that that are going to come out of the next Mystery Dungeon. All that's waiting for it, all that stands in the way, ah, you jerk, is uh, is the Elite Four. I'm so excited, Mr. Jeez, that freaking Absol and the Sucker Punch. That's such a great move. It's one of my favorite, like, competitive Pokemon use, uh, moves. I use a Cacturn on my competitive Pokemon team, and god, I, I abuse Sucker Punch. I'm going to send out Dus Dusk Noir. Um, let's use Jigsaw and his ability to crunch. Let's crunch the ghosts. Alright, and Dusk Noir. There he is. Dusk Noir is going to be... I'm not going to actually spoil it. Oh, I didn't mean to use Smog. I accidentally hit A too fast, and now we're good. Now we're cursed. Ugh. At least now we know that this thing will... I don't know why you would do that on your... On your, like, last Pokemon, Mr. Psychic or whatever. Great, now I'm cursed. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, let's take out this Dusk Noir. There we go. Not a very formidable opponent there. That was a very strange call. And uh, there we go. There you have it. 
You start getting a lot of experience. Goodbye, Valencia. Get past. You've been through a lot. How did you know? How did you know that one time I turned into a turned into a Psyduck, <laughs> who is now coincidentally in my party? How would she know about that? Was she some kind of genius? This kid is like totally blocking this Pokeball, and I'm gonna totally get it. Found an Ultra Ball. I might go up the waterfall here. I don't know really what else is around here for us. There might be something down this way. But I do want to go up up those waterfalls and get that item. This might be the way that we're supposed to go. But, um, you know what? We are, it is about 16 minutes. So, next time, we've got some, uh, some of this room to explore. We've got uh, up those waterfalls and down this way. Which we're going to do next time, everybody. So, guys, thank you very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day. And I will see you guys next time.